All right. Okay, I'm recording. So this isn't like a typical live power hour where I'm gonna be like, okay, now do this, then do this. I am legitimately going to walk you through what you need to be doing, how you need to be doing it, why you need to be doing it. Okay, so I'm explaining, like this is an all encompassing, this is what your power hour is, this is how you get it done, and we can reference this with new coaches when they're like, I don't know what to do every day. Send them this link and they can watch it and they'll be like, okay, I get it. So first of all, we are building a business on social media. If you are not posting three times a day, you're not working your business, okay? I know sometimes that's a weird transition, but you just gotta get used to it. And you need to switch your mindset from social media is a waste of time, time sucks, something that I do when I'm bored, to Social media is my business, my storefront, my opportunity to meet new people, my opportunity to change the freaking world, okay? So get intentional with it. People come to, to social media for three reasons. To get inspired, to get educated, and to be entertained. So when you're coming up with your content, you don't need to overcomplicate it or whatever, but think about those three things. Is this entertaining them? Like when you're posting family stuff, kids stuff, funny stuff, that's entertaining. That's helping people get to know you. That's, you need to be sharing more than just Beachbody. Please don't share just fitness stuff or people will be bored. You need to share all aspects of your life, okay? So is it entertaining? Is it educating? Are you helping them understand something? Are you teaching them something? Are you giving them value? Um, and then is it inspiring? Are you being inspirational? Are you helping people be motivated? Are you sharing a message through a mess? Make sure it's not, you don't always have to have to be, um, obviously you want to be like positive and uplifting, but sometimes you have bad dates or bad experiences or you're going through crap and that's okay to share it when you share the silver lining, when you share what you're learning through it, when you're sharing how you're overcoming something, you're always sharing, if you're sharing something messy, no. you're sharing what you're learning. Dude, what the heck? I listened to a different video. I don't know, who's unmuted? Mute yourself. I don't know why it's not muting people. Are you guys muted? Mute all, maybe I just need to keep muting all people. Um. Okay. So coming up with three posts a day, it really shouldn't be that hard, but you need to be intentional about it, okay? So pretty soon, you'll start like thinking, oh, that would make an awesome post. And then you can like go put it in the notes section of your phone, or, you'll, or your kid will do something hilarious, and you're like, okay, I gotta post about that. Like pretty soon, you just start thinking in social media terms, and it's not hard. Um, but basically, the whole gist of what we do is you need to get eyeballs on what you're doing. People need to know what you're about. They need to see what you're doing. And that's why we have to do the four vitals every single day. That's why we have a power hour that you do every single day. Because if you're doing something, but you're totally missing another part of the recipe, you're going to fail. Like this business is not hard. It is basic. It is simple. But there are distinct things that you need to be doing each day that will help you move forward. Okay. Um, so the four vitals, let's talk about those really fast product of the product. So you're sharing an aspect of your journey and you're on your journey always. That is the best thing about coaching is that we're perma challengers. We're always on our journey. It helps us be accountable. And when we take it a step further and we have to share that, then it even ups the ante even more. So part of my routine every single day is I work out. I snap and I Insta story some of the workout because everyone likes to see a sneak peek of what's going on and that holds me accountable to getting my crap done. So that's part I normal. I share an after picture of some sort or a video or something from my workout on Facebook, on, on my Facebook live page, on Instagram, and in my challenge group. So that becomes your normal. You work out, you post on every platform and in your challenge group. So without thinking, that's part of what you do every day. You don't skip it. So that's one post a day, and you obviously can switch it up. Sometimes you're teaching some, something you're overcoming. Do a move of the day video. Do 
a, a video that you come up with in like iMovie where you're doing clips of it. Do a sweaty selfie. Do a fun picture with your spouse. Do um, a progress picture. Whatever. Be creative, but some aspect of it is from your workout that day, okay? Number two is personal development. You guys, please don't skip your personal development. You will only go in this business as far as you grow. And I know it sounds cliche and whatever, but like you, like that will be the one thing that holds you back more than anything else. If you're sitting there and you're not doing personal development right now, you need to be. And here's the thing. It's really simple. Wake up and read 10 minutes. That's how you start. Don't start your day without reading at least 10 minutes of a book, okay? Then, if you're really serious about this and you really wanna grow and you really wanna become happier and you really wanna become the best version of yourself, fit it in as much as possible. I'm not kidding you, like the first year and a half of my business, I was listening to hours a personal development when I was editing with my photography, when I was driving, when I was sharing, when I was doing laundry. Anytime I could fit it in, I did because I knew that I had so much to overcome and to figure out and to learn that just the more that I was feeding my brain, the more I could handle, the more rejection I could handle, the more negativity, the more naysayers, all of those things that we're going to face because that's just what happens when you're living out loud, when you're sharing your journey and being vulnerable you're gonna have to deal with stuff. You're gonna have to learn how to lead. You're gonna have to learn how to overcome limiting beliefs and fears and reservations and self-doubt and all of those things. And that is what is the most life-changing aspect of the business. So do your personal development and post number two, share a takeaway. Share something that you learned, that you found value in, share a quote from it, share a picture of it, just share some thoughts about it with a picture of you, share something. And I can promise you that that's going to set you apart from the rest of your newsfeed because not many people do personal development. Everybody needs it. So when they see you in their feed and they're like, dude, why is she so positive? Why is she learning this stuff? What is she reading? They're going to start asking questions. They're going to start getting interested and that is going to be intriguing to a lot of people. So that's a simple way to have post number two every day because we're gonna be doing it every single day, okay? Um, number three of the vitals, invite, invite, invite. You guys can't skip this. I know 99% of you are skipping this right now and you can't skip inviting. It doesn't have to be scary when you're, when you're passionate about what you're doing and when you're confident, in the help that you can give someone, then it's not scary. And we'll talk about this in the actual power hour part about like how to go about it and some ideas, but just know that this is a crucial part of your business. And if you skip it, you will flatline and you will not grow and you will not be able to help the amount of people that you have the potential to help. Okay. Um, number four recognition. And this is a fun one. This is just shouting out, Challenger, shouting out coaches, shouting out people who are just doing awesome, just helping empower people through recognition. And that's a fun part of our job. So figure out ways to weave that in. Okay, so those are the four things that build your business, okay? Those are the four things that whatever you're doing in your power hour, you gotta get those done throughout the day. So the actual power hour, hopefully you have the tracker, I'm gonna walk you through what I do. Like if I'm sitting down for a legit hour, this is exactly what I do, okay? So I get into Facebook and the first place I start is with birthdays. Birthdays first give you a chance to do your Hey Girl messages, reach out to people. Every single day you have new birthdays. So this, I'm either sending them a comment, I'm either sending them a direct message, or I'm deleting them from my friends list. If they are not someone who I would wanna work with in a challenge, or work with as a coach, or wanna see their stuff, then they don't need to be in my storefront. That's what Facebook is, okay? So that also gives you a way to clean out your Facebook feed and make sure that it's quality people that you wanna be seeing and interacting with. Always end with a question. So I used to just be like, happy birthday, hope it's awesome. 
Um, but then I just tweaked it and say something like, happy birthday, girl. I hope it's awesome. Do you have any fun plans? Or like, do you have anything fun planned today or whatever? Like end in a question because then it'll make them comment back. And Facebook algorithm likes connection. So not only are you commenting on all these new people's stuff every single day, which will help them see your stuff, but once they comment back or message you back, Facebook goes, ding, they know each other. We're gonna show each other their stuff. And you want more people to see your stuff, you wanna see more people's stuff, okay? So, so birthdays is the first place I start. And those, when you're like, I don't know how to do Hey Girls or I don't know who to randomly be reaching out to, that's an easy way to do it without having to think twice, okay? I'm all about making life easier. Then I go on to expanding my network. This is crucial. You cannot grow your business without constantly expanding your network. So I'm gonna talk about a couple ways. First, Facebook. The easiest way to do it, there's a few ways to do it. I like to do, first I added every single person that I knew, then I started adding friends of friends, and friends of friends of friends, and friends of friends of friends, and I would legitimately just go to, okay, I know this girl Chelsea in Arizona from elementary school. She's super cute, she's a mom of like three, I love her to death, she has cute style, like she's like my target market. So I went to her friends list, and I would friend request her friends, and then I'd find my target on their friends list, and I would friend request them, and it's just like, it's really easy to find people to friend. Don't overthink it. Don't be like, oh, I feel weird to friend people. You're just connecting with people who are like you, who you would love to work with. Quality over quantity. Don't just send friend requests to Joe Schmo. Like these are people who you would like, wanna be with, wanna be in your challenge group, wanna be on your team, wanna connect with them, whatever, okay? Quality every day. That's the first one on Facebook and it's really simple. Um, second way is like niche or niche or however you say that word, pages. Like, so say you love Joanna Gaines. Say you love the Magnolia Market Show or whatever it's called, Fixer Upper. Is that what it's called? Um, so you go to their Facebook page and all the people who are following them have that same interest. So you would go to like the comments, the people who are commenting on the pictures and you would find people on there that just look like your target who you'd like to work with or whatever and connect with and don't ever complicate it. Like maybe you respond to one of their comments and oh my gosh, I love it, that's so cute. And then friend request them. It's not complicated, okay? So that's another way, third way is through groups. So maybe you're into sewing or maybe you're into, um, maybe you have like a Cocker Spaniel or whatever, like interests outside of fitness and health Broaden your horizons, connect with people who have common interests with you in groups and whatever. Same thing, interact, don't be weird and like friend request everyone. Interact with people, then friend request them. And as soon as I friend request people on Facebook, they go directly onto an interest list. This is all in the training. If you don't know what an interest list is, it's all in the training modules. Um, and that basically just puts them in a focused spot so that I can then go to the interest list and interact with those people every single day, okay? So that is the easiest way to do it on Facebook. Instagram, Instagram is a gold mine if you are not capitalizing on it, you need to. So, first way to find new people on Instagram is through hashtags, but you have to be careful because some hashtags are really broad and then you get crazies. So the more specific, the better. Like for instance, the Tone It Up community, for example, is this huge fitness community of girls that are working out and sharing their journeys. They don't get paid for it. They just pay money to do this. I think it's silly. They love the community. They love the workouts. They love the lifestyle, all that stuff. But they have specific hashtags that they'll use. And that's like a goldmine of people to find. There's BBG. There's Lululemon. There's all of these. There's home decor and all these mom hashtags. Find ones that are your interest and you can search through those. It'll pull up all the pictures and you just find people connect with them. And if you haven't seen my Instagram training, you do the like, comment, follow. So you like five of their pictures, comment on two or three, follow them. And that's how you gain the initial, you're not just like following a million people, you're actually interacting with their stuff. Same with on Facebook. As soon as someone ex accepts my friend request, I'm liking and commenting on a few of their, a few of their posts. I don't send them a message right away. Like, Hey, thanks for accepting my friend request. Because to me, when I get a message like that, I'm like, dude, this girl has an agenda. 
like, and I put up my wall. So I just comment on their stuff. I'm interested in who they are. I don't care if it ever transacts into a beach body thing, but it's people connecting with people, building relationships. And at some point, if they need help and if you're sharing your journey, they're going to either come to you or you're going to have built the relationship enough to invite them. Okay. So that's what this is. You're just meeting new people every single day who you can work with and help become better. Um, Instagram back to Instagram. So hashtags, same thing goes for Instagram that goes for Facebook. When I talked about like the friends of friends of friends. So I'll find like one of my target market girls and I'll just go to her following and her followers and I'll just go to their accounts. And if they look like my thing, you can skim through the things in like two seconds and be like, Hey, this looks like my girl comment, like follow, go to the next girl, go to her people, go to her people. And you just continue doing that. I would spend like 10 to 15 minutes of your power hour expanding and doing this with intention every day. You should be expanding five to 10 people at least every day. Okay. If you have more time to invest into your business, this should be a major focus, expanding, connecting, and really growing your network. Okay. You have 5,000 friends on Facebook that you can have. So if you're sitting there and you're going, well, no one's seeing my stuff. No one's commenting. No one wants to do my groups. Oh, P.S. I have 200 friends. That's why. Because five people are even seeing anything that you're posting. Okay. So get your friends up. You want people to see what's going on. You don't, you want to see what's going on with them and you need to just be expanding bottom line. Okay. Um, and then also you can go same thing, like same thing for Facebook goes for Instagram, go to like the big, your niche market pages and then interact with the commenters and the likers. Cause those are people who are actually active on social media. So you can find people that way too. And you just do that every single day. Okay. Um, and then on Instagram, I'll screen, I'll show you a screen share in a little bit, but the, what I do is your news feed on Instagram should become your interest list. So everyone on your news feed should either be a challenge prospect or a coach prospect or someone who just really inspires you that you just want to see their stuff. Um, when I'm going through my newsfeed and I'm interacting with people, they directly go on to, I have three lists right now. I have a challenge prospect list, a coach prospect list, and a UK list since the launch is coming. So when I'm going through my newsfeed and I go to someone's page to interact with them, I'm saying, are they, are they going to be someone I invite to my next challenge group? Are they someone who I want to invite to coaching? Or obviously are they from the UK? They go on the UK list. And if they're not, and they're not someone who just massively inspires me and I want to just keep seeing their stuff, then I unfollow them because they're just taking up space. And so you guys have to be intentional with what you're seeing and how you're spending your time. Every time you're on social media, you're doing it with intention. You're not just hanging out and scrolling. You want to be making sure that you're leaving a mark. So if you're on social media, you're liking, commenting, engaging. You want people to know that you were there. You want them to know that you're interested in their life. You want them to know that you're creeping on their stuff and you're knowing what's going on with them. You don't want to be like the silent stalker that just watches what people are doing and never letting them know that, Hey, I'm watching you. I'm interested in you because that's when, when you reach out to them, they're going to be like, Oh my gosh. Like it's not going to be weird because you guys have that. Just you guys would be surprised how a few likes and a comment warms up a cold person like that all of a sudden they're like oh yeah she's normal and she's cool and i'll jump in her group but if you don't do those initial contacts and the little things then your invites will be like silent whatever when they get them okay you have to make sure that you're doing those things first so um i'll share that screen share in a little bit about what that list looks like um so that's expanding. Does that make sense? I wanted to spend a lot of time on that because it is that important. And I know lots of you are skipping it because when you tell me I don't have anyone to invite, it's because you're not expanding and you're not connecting because when you're expanding and you're connecting every single day, you should always have a pool of solid new prospects to invite to your challenge and to coaching. Okay. Um, next 
I already talked about that. Okay, hey girls and connecting. We kind of talked about the hey girl part with the birthdays, but I am not a personal messenger. Lots of people like to personal message like all the time. I'm not a small chatter. I don't have time for that, like back and forth crap. And so I just like to comment on people's stuff and I love to comment on Insta stories because that goes to a message so it's more personal and we can keep con conversing back and forth but it's not just like random, hey, where did you get your shirt? Like, I'm like, dude, do you really wanna know that? <laughs> like, are you just dragging a conversation? So I approach my business like how I perceive others when I get stuff and so, I love to do Insta stories on Instagram. That's my favorite way to connect because it is more personal than just a comment. Comments lots of times get lost in people's feeds because things are so crazy. So really at the top of your Instagram, you'll see all the stories. So you can just keep scrolling, scroll to the right, 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 right. And when you see anything you can interact with, a kid's post or fitness or whatever, you just do a simple comment. It's not hard. Like, oh my gosh, that looks so yummy. That's it. Oh my gosh, your daughter is so freaking adorable. That's it. That is the hey girl connect, okay? And you're just, these are just seeds being planted. You wouldn't even know how many times I'll have like randomly just done like a little hey girl, just a little comment on an Insta story. And then the next time, like weeks later, I'll do a challenge group, call to action, and she'll be like, oh my gosh, I want, I want information. I'll go to our direct message. And that's the last thing I've done. I've never talked to her outside of like the little Insta story. Like these are the things that make or break your business. And it's the easy stuff to do every day, but it's the stuff that's easy to skip too. So make sure that every single day you're hey girling some way and you're connecting with people. That's, the, that's what that section is on your Power Hour Tracker. And I actually don't track these these are the things that like when my kids are playing and I'm just sitting outside or whatever, I'll just connect with a ton of people. And these are the things that the more you can do it, the faster you'll see the benefits. You'll see this really pick up your business. So if you have more time, focus on connecting with more people with intention and it makes a big difference. Um, and then let's talk about invites. Okay. I do not invite every single day. You can, you can totally have like an ongoing challenge. Like I have an ongoing challenge, but I still like to invite in waves instead. So there's a couple ways to do this. As long as you're getting all of your invites in for the month, you're golden. You, you have, you can't just be like, okay, well I'm only going to invite twice a month when I'm filling a group and then send like two invites. You either have to invite every single day, like three to five people, and I'll show you an example of an invite on my Instagram thing. Or when you have a challenge start date or every Monday you could use it as a start date or every first and third Monday, we have the new coach training that starts every first and third Monday. So that gives you a reason every single first and third Monday before that, a couple days before that, to invite to coaching, to promote coaching, to share about coaching. You guys have to be intentionally inviting to challenge groups. Every month, you have to be intentionally inviting to coaching every single month. That's why I want you to watch the Janelle training because it's not hard, it's not complicated, it's not scary, and coaches freak themselves out about inviting to coaching. And it's like, you guys, challenge groups to me are awesome. They're like a springboard into helping someone get on the right track to help in fitness and a happier life. But coaching that is what instills the habits. That is what creates the accountability. That is what really implements the lasting changes that will change their life. So if you don't believe that, then that's where you need to work. Because if you don't believe it, you're not going to do it. Okay? Um, but you guys just need to be, don't be scared. Okay? Inviting to challenges and inviting to coaching. And I would always lead with challenge group, a real challenge group. Don't, I know lots of new coaches are like, I can't ask anyone to pay for something that's scary. They're going to say no. So I'm just going to do a free group. And then some people will do free groups like for the rest of their life. And then they'll be like, why am I not hitting success club? Why is no one buying challenge packs? And it's like, dude, cause you're inviting to free groups only. And that's all people are going to do. 
So I would invite to your real challenge group where they're investing in their health, they're getting a challenge pack, they're getting all the tools and the complete solution. If they say no, if they say I don't have enough money, if they say whatever, then you can fall back on, hey, well actually I have this free trial you could do for at least two weeks and get started on the right track. You still have a solution to help them get started, lead with the pack that's gonna actually help them, plan B, free trial, then just plug them into the challenge, okay? Same challenge. I'm all about making your life easier. So have one challenge group where you're promoting your challenge pack, all access, they get everything they need in there. If they get the free trial, they still get plugged into there, but obviously they're gonna run out of stuff, they're gonna see people posting about Shakeology, they're gonna see people in there for the long haul, they're gonna be like, dude, I don't wanna miss out, give me this challenge pack, okay? So that's what I would do to get the ball rolling. Coaching, you just need to be confident. And you need to understand that you're here for a reason and you can't make the decision for other people. So every single month we do some type of sneak peek or live event or whatever. Use that. Plug people in. We try to make life as easy as possible for you guys, especially as new coaches. I remember I was scared to talk about the business. I was like, I don't know all the answers. I don't know how this works. If I would have had like a sneak peek or something to plug into, I would have been all over it. So make sure that you're plugging into those. I always post about them in the main team inspiration page and in the PS page and in our message threads. So make sure you're plugging in. But we always post the links and you will just add your people in there. We have coaches in there sharing stories. We talk about what coaching is, we explain everything and we say, go talk to the coach that got you in there, sign up with them, get them plugged into the coach training. We have duplicatable systems, you guys. So I don't care if you signed up today, you can mentor a coach. While you're figuring it out yourself, you can help coaches be successful because the systems are there. The training is there, the modules are there, you plug them into everything that's going on, okay? So make sure that you're talking about both. It is so crucial to be inviting to both challenges, helping challengers, and coaching. I'll roll back around and get questions at the end. Um, okay, really quick, I'm gonna screen share and just show you a couple really simple examples and what I do for invites, okay? So when I have like, dude, this is annoying. When I have actual groups going, it's really simple to invite to. My favorite way to, can you guys see this? My favorite way to um, invite to a challenge is to make a video with the information, okay? So I will invite people with like a simple message, do a call to action on my Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, Insta stories, all that stuff. But then when they ask for information or when they actually want to know what it's about, I love to have a video that explains it. So like for Shift Shop that came out, I just had a quick like seven or eight minute video that explained what the group was, what the challenge was all about, what we focus on, how it works, the cost, so I can build the value and explain what it is in the video. And then I send them that. When they want information, they check it out. If they want to order, I help them order. That is the best way to be real with someone. When you're building a business on social media, it helps when you can personalize yourself, okay? So the more they can see you, the more they can hear you. I know as a new coach, you might be like, dude, that freaking scares me, I don't wanna make a video. But they don't care if it's perfect, and they don't care what it looks like as long as you're getting the message across, okay? So I would recommend doing that, and all I do is I, I record the video on my phone, I use the Capture app, and it uploads to YouTube, and then I just have the YouTube link, and that's my favorite way to do it. So that's how I like to do it, and then this is my, for instance, this is my Instagram tracker. So this was like the Josh Coates stuff, that's what you're seeing, like the daily stuff. But this is how I do my Instagram people. So I have invite to challenge, and then I have my list of people. I have invite to coaching, and then I have my list of people, and then I have UK that I just barely started. So these are example invites. You wanna share why you're reaching out to them and then a little bit of what. So hey girl, I don't know if you've ever seen anything about the challenges I run, but I love helping women rock their lives and become the best version of themselves and wanted to personally invite you to my next challenge. I'd love to get you more info if this is something you'd be, if this is something you'd love and if you have any questions whatsoever, don't hesitate to ask. I hope you're having a great day.
simple, not scary. I can connect with all these people on Instagram and I can send them that message. Always connect first, then send them the invite once you have a little bit of a relationship built, okay? Coaching, same thing. Hey girl, I don't know. I know you probably hear this a lot. Okay, I'll talk about that in a second. Um, but I just want to let you know you are the exact type of person that I would love to coach with on my team. I absolutely adore your positive spirit and real honesty, and I know you inspire so many people. Have you ever considered coaching? I'm a total open book if you've ever had any questions about it. Hope you're having a great day. Simple, plant the seed. They could say no. They could say, what the heck are you talking about? They could say, people ask me all the time, I'm not interested. I don't care. Don't tie your emotion with the result. Just put it out there to the people that you want to connect with. Okay. Um, and then speaking of how I choose who goes on a challenger prospect list or a coach prospect list is basically they go on a challenge prospect list. If they're not posting like any fitness things at all, like if they're just like normal mom, normal life, posting kids stuff, posting whatever, I would love to work with them in a challenge. If they're already on a fitness journey, posting any type of fitness, not beach body, anything fitness related, health related, nutrition related, then I'm inviting them to coach because they are obviously already have a passion and interest for a healthy lifestyle. And I'm like, hello, this is like a unicorn job for anyone that wants to live a healthy life. Okay. So that's how I differentiate the two between coaching and challenge invites. Okay. Now, let me see. Oh yeah. Another thing early on, I know you're not going to have like these huge followings and these like big pools of people to invite. So a simple, simple way to know who to start inviting are the people that are interacting and engaging on your posts. So when you're sharing a fitness post, your workout, your selfie, a video, a transformation, and people are, are liking and commenting, that's who you start engaging with. And that's who you start inviting because those people, they're either someone interested, they're at least supporting you. Lots of people will like and kind of just creep for a while before they ever like actually reach out. So you just opening the door and saying, Hey, thank you so much for um, showing love on my post. I totally appreciate it. It still scares me to death to share workout pictures, but it's worth it if I can even help one person. Are you on your own fitness journey? Something like that. Open the door, get the conversation going. And then if they say yes, you can say, sweet, what are you doing? What's working for you? Just talk to them. Don't be like, okay, well, when can I turn this into a beach body conversation? Don't have that agenda in the back of your head. Otherwise you'll be weird and you'll come off like stalkerish. That's not what you want to do. We are here to help people, but we're not here to like freak people out. Okay. So if it's the right time for them, awesome. We're here to help. If they're happy doing what they're doing, awesome. Invite them to coach. Like <laughs> there's always a way to get them started some way, but it might not be like right then, right in that conversation. Okay. So sometimes you're just planting seeds, having conversations, opening the door and let the relationship flourish. But that is a great place to start anytime. I know my coach Brielle, every single transformation post, every single fitness post, she reaches out to every single liker. And she just says, thank you so much for the, for the love of my post. I totally appreciate it. And she asks them a question and she's had people come back around to her months later and just say, you know what? I want to do your challenge and I'm choosing you because you actually paid attention that I was paying attention to you. Like people, they really do like to feel valued and they like to know that you're actually a real person. Like you would think, I don't know, like some people have this weird misconception that social media, I don't know. They like, don't, it's not real. Like there's not a real person behind the posts. And so just always making that personal and having those connections with people humanizes you and breaks down those walls and helps them know, love and trust you. Okay. So that's a really good place to start. If you're like, I don't know who to invite. I don't know what, like start with who is engaging on your stuff. Same goes with Insta stories. Like the people that are creeping watching your Insta stories every single day, but never saying anything about it. Those are great people to be 
um, going to their page and then just connecting with them on their stuff. Cause then they'll get brave enough to finally like actually like something or actually comment and you can get the conversation going. Um, so that's that. I talked about free groups challenges. I have a training on free groups, like the, the why behind free groups and cause there's different types of free groups. There's definitely a purpose. I think free groups are awesome to expand your network, to build relationships and to connect with people, but you can't, rely on free groups to grow your business. Okay. Um, unless you're just like massively then inviting from your free group, which you can definitely do that. You can build a relationship, connect, and then invite all of those people to your challenge, but you have to follow through with the actual process of inviting them to a challenge. You can't just end with the free group. Okay. Um, so if you have questions about free groups on my YouTube, it's on there and I explain it on there. Um, and then, Coaching, Janelle, I already talked about that. Okay, then let's talk about follow-ups. You guys, I cannot even tell you how many of my successful points, new challengers, new coaches come from the follow-ups, not from the initial invites. So many people get busy, they get distracted, they forget, they whatever, like this is our job. And so it's like on our brain, our invites and our messages and our conversations. But think about how many messages you get from like random people and you just like forget about it. Like life happens. Don't take it personally. If they stop responding to you, it's not because they hate you. It's probably just because their kid like pooped all over the floor and they forgot that they were messaging you and they got to go take care of mom stuff. So don't like, that's the biggest thing I think that people do is everything is so personal. Don't take things personal. Okay. Just, just, reach out to them again. What I like to do if I'm having a conversation with someone and they stop responding, like they go cold. I don't res I don't message them back and be like, where'd you go? Why are you not responding? Blah, blah, blah. I go to their page and I just interact with them. I like and comment on some of their stuff. And then lots of times they'll see the notification, like Mike, I liked your thing. And they're like, Oh crap. I was talking to her about a challenge pack. And then they'll message me like right after happens all the time. So I always like and comment on their things first. If they still don't message me or whatever back, then I'll just check in and say, Hey, I just want to check in with you. Da, 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 da. Let them know that you're doing it for them. It's not because of you. Don't, it's not your agenda. You're, they, they reached out or they were having conversation for some reason. So follow up, check in. That is your job. Okay. My favorite way to do follow ups is when I have a deadline. So whenever I have like a challenge group starting on Monday, Thursday and Friday, I am like massive follow-ups. Anyone who ever expressed interest, anyone who got information, anyone, anyone who like follow-ups are my jam. And I'm just saying, hey, I just want to check in with you. We're starting on Monday. I have a few spots left. I didn't want you to miss out on this if you're ready to go. What do you think? It's easy. Okay, and you can send that to like 40 people in like eight minutes. And it's really simple. Make sure that you're following up with challengers, with coaches, with free groupers. Following up, following up, following up is where all the success happens, okay? Um, and then every single day, just make sure that you're clearing out your messages. Don't let your message box get like overloaded, but don't let it control your life. Be intentional. Like I obviously, I get messages all day, every day. So I could be on my phone all day, every day, if I let myself. So instead, I'll block out time throughout the day when I'm doing whatever for like five minutes at a time and I'll bust through like 20 messages. And then I won't look at my messages for another few hours or whatever, and then I'll bust out another 20 messages. So you just, you guys will learn really quickly. You're gonna have to learn self-discipline. You're gonna have to learn how to be intentional. Otherwise, Everything else, like life happens, stuff happens, stuff will get in the way, but you have to learn how to be the CEO of your boss, of your life, and be the boss of your life, because that's what this is, and it teaches us really, 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 really valuable lessons, okay? So if you're like, I'm overwhelmed, I don't manage my time, I this, get focused. If you need to set a timer in our Google Drive folder, um, in the Power Hour of Module 1, there's a Power Hour timer. That will 
basically go through like different sections of the power hour and for five minutes you'll do expand your network for 10 minutes you'll do invites for whatever if you need structure like that for the first little while as you're getting things going then do that we have tools in place but sooner or later you're just gonna be like bam i can bust this out whether it's at 5 a.m in the morning if you get it done before all the kids wake up whether it's late at night after they're in bed whether it's you do 20 minutes here half hour at lunch 30 minutes at night whatever it is you have to be consistent with this stuff every single day okay these are the things that drive your business and so you're just starting it so basically i explained everything and what it looks like but these are the things that you bam you get on facebook you're focused you're not going through your newsfeed you're doing your birthdays then you're adding new friends you're connecting with them you're getting them added to an interest list you go to instagram you're adding new friends you're connecting with people you're going through your newsfeed you're connecting with people if it's time to invite or if you're inviting each day you send your invites like you guys you need to you just get into this rhythm okay and then each day make sure that you're checking your back office you know what's going on back there make sure you're checking the team pages just i mean once or twice a day just know what's going on because that's where all the important stuff is and i can't tell you how many coaches i have where i'm like this is going on they're like wait where is that and i'm like dude in the team page always in the team page everything is in the team page every day so make sure that you're checking it because i don't just post stuff in there just to fill it up with fluffy stuff like i'm posting stuff in there because it's important for you to see and it's going to help you grow okay um and then other than that really quickly snapchat and instagram my favorite way to look at those is just basically like a behind the scenes like a sneak peek into your life every day so i do I like to do my miracle morning in there some mornings. I like to do a little bit of my workout each day. I like to do some food posts. I do kid posts. That's where you're just like real and raw and you let people know who you are, how you fit it in, how you weave in coaching, how you are doing your healthy lifestyle. Like that's just the real, the raw, the fun where people really connect with you. And the way to get people on different platforms is by funneling them there so like say you go live on facebook then on your snapchat you're like hey i'm gonna go live on facebook in 10 minutes catch me over there on my facebook and you leave the facebook link or on instagram you're like hey guys i'm gonna share a recipe in my insta stories make sure you click the link or make sure you click the pick in my bio pic and you can go through my stories like you're funneling them you're telling people where you want them to go okay and that's how you'll get followers different places because lots of times I'll have someone reach out to me on Facebook, but they're like, oh my gosh, I love following you on Snap, blah, blah, blah. And you just never know what someone's gonna be connected to. So whatever platforms you're doing, you don't have to do everything, but it really isn't hard to do Snapchat and Insta stories. And I think it's way more fun than Facebook and Instagram, but that's just me. Um, so yeah, that's basically the gist of your power hour. So does that make sense? expanding your network, inviting, connecting with people, following up with people, and then making sure throughout the day you obviously get your workout in, you get your posts done, and you do your personal development. Like you guys all should be superstar coaches like in a year if you do all these things each day, right? You guys look so excited to be on this call right now. I can't even tell you. Um, okay, I'm gonna bust through these questions really fast. Maybe you guys were just talking crap. Um, actually, I'm going to stop the recording so that we can refer this to people forever after, and then I'll bust through these questions, okay? So, everyone say bye, but don't get off, because we're gonna go over this. <laughs>